Dear friends, greetings. As we celebrate this day with colors, we are so excited. People are so excited around us to celebrate this um, festival of colors. And as we celebrate this festival of colors, I want to draw your attention to a few things which are so important. Just imagine a world without colors. A world without colors would be so boring. Everything would look in black and white. But thankfully, that's not the case. We have colors. A colorful world. You go to different parts of the world. You see different colors, how people use these colors in their dresses, on the wall paintings and different things. The colors are used and they make us feel so great. But do we only appreciate the colors or do we appreciate the eyes that God has given us to appreciate those colors? Because if we didn't have those eyes, how would we appreciate colors? So we need to appreciate the eyes that God has given. A few days ago, I had uh, been to an uh, optician to get my specs done, my glasses done. And as, as I was there, the optician went on explaining about these glasses. And uh, he was telling me that I need to go for a better glass so that my vision would be nice. And every time, he brought out a good glass. He told me the price of that was almost double of the price of the previous one. And when I looked at it, it was like making glasses which were like more than $100. And at that point of time, I thought, we never appreciate the eyes that we have. We take them for granted. But again, do we have to just stop till our eyes or we have to go further? And I would want to tell you that I would like to go further and think about the one who gave us these eyes to appreciate the colors in the world. We sometimes are so intrigued by the creation that we stick just there appreciating the creation but we forget to appreciate the creator on this day why don't we appreciate the creator why don't we appreciate the one who created us we look at the sunset and we appreciate the sunset the colors and the beauty and the grandeur of the sunset but have you ever wondered that you have the ability to look at the sun and appreciate it but the sun does not have the ability to look at you the best creation of the whole of the universe and appreciate you the reason for that is that we are made in god's image and because of that we can think and we can appreciate is it not important for us to appreciate God himself? I have this beautiful cube with me and this has got various colors. Today I am going to talk about these few colors and what they are symbolic of. The first color I'm want, I want to talk about is the color black. And this cube says it's the, uh, it determines, it, it's trying to show us the God's uh, uh, God's purpose or God's plan of salvation. The color black. The color black represents our sin. And Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Black representing our sin. We go to the next color, and that is the color red. The color red. Red is symbolic of the blood Jesus shed on the cross. 
red is symbolic of the blood Jesus shed on the cross and the Bible says John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life so from black to red and then we go to the third color the color is blue and blue here is for faith and Galatians 2 16 says and we have believed in Christ Jesus so that we might be justified by faith in Christ and not by the works of the law because by the works of the law no human being will be justified so this is the color blue of faith what it says is with our own works we cannot be justified because our salvation is a gift gift from God let's go to the next color color number four the color white and this is one of my favorite colors the color white white stands for purity and forgiveness Psalms 51 7 says purify me with hyssop and I will be clean wash me and I will be whiter than snow white as snow the blood of Jesus cleanses us and makes us white as snow the Son of God came to the earth to die for yours and my sins so that he could cleanse us and make us white as snow going ahead this is the color green green tells us to remember growth in God's love second Peter 318 says grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ it encourages us to grow in the knowledge and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and lastly lastly the color yellow yellow is a glowing promise of eternal life through Jesus Christ eternal life through Jesus Christ I have heard many times that people say I don't know what's going to happen after death we are so agnostic about our afterlife but praise God here is someone a savior who knows beyond the grave and the Bible says that Jesus said because I live you shall live also as we celebrate colors let's not stop with the colors with our eyes but move ahead to the Creator and know the Creator and know eternal life because the Bible says in John 14 2 and 3 it says I am going away to prepare a place for you I will come back and receive you to myself so that where I am you may be also Jesus is coming so I just want to ask you do you know him as your Savior if not today is the day of salvation just invite Jesus into your lives say to him Lord please come into my life and he is going to touch you he is going to change your life may God bless you and as we celebrate colors let us remember our Creator thank you